solve for x. Okay, so when you get a situation like this where you've got this minus or plus in between, this is that part that I've showed you before where you have to, um, where there's more than one term. So you need to take, so you're first going to split this up and then we're going to take out a common factor. So we can write this as 2 to the x and 2 to the minus 1, okay, equals to 4. Now we can take out a common factor of 2 to the x. So we take that out as a common factor and we're left with 1 minus 2 to the minus 1. And that's equal to 4. Now if you just type this on the calculator, it's actually just going to give you a half. So to get this 2x by itself now, all you're going to do is divide both sides by a half. So you're going to end up with that. You see what I did? I just divided both sides by a half. The way we would normally do if we, for example, had uh, 3x equals to 9. You would divide both sides by 3. Okay, so now if you go type that on the calculator, that is going to give you 8. If you got, if you ended up with 2, then you've written it wrong. Then, you've, then you just need to make sure that it's 4 divided by, and then 1 over 2. You don't want to write it as 4 over 1 over 2. There's a difference. Okay, now the number 8, if you do the shift, if you say 8 equals to shift, and then find the fact button on your calculator, then it's going to be written as 8 is the same as 2 to the power of 3. So we could say 2 to the power of x is the same as 2 to the power of 3. Now when these are the same, you can cancel them, and so x would simply be equal to 3. 